Hi. Do you think that uh, spirits can actually cross over or attempt to cross over and communicate with their with their living relatives on this side? Well, I have a bit of a, a weird story I want to share with you, and it happened just recently, Father's Day at the Lemon Grove Hotel. It involves a man by the name of Matthew, who passed four years ago. His family who go down to the Lemon Grove to have Father's Day, which was Matthew's favourite place. And Matthew's favourite song, which is Matthew and Son. So anyway, the family was there and Matthew's little son. So I don't know, but I'm going to retell this story and speak to the relatives and you decide whether you think it might be Matthew's spirit trying to reach out. Hi, I'm Anthony Lee. Look, I, was, I wanted to share something really weird with you that happened to me on a gig. I was playing at my gig, if you can see it down there, at the Lemon Grove Hotel, just on the 1st of September, um, 2024. And anyway, I was, as I was sitting in the audience playing songs, I was about to finish with my, my last song for the bracket. But anyway, a weird thing happened. The tablet that I used for my backings suddenly froze and it kept on going to a song called Matthew and Son. And I turned it down. I tried to change to another song. It went back to Matthew and Son. I thought, wow, what's going on here? So I turned, the, I turned it up again, the volume up again. Then I went to another song and tried to change that. But then Matthew and, Son, Matthew and Son came on. And then I tried again to change to another song and Matthew and Son came on. And so I thought, well, I jokingly said, well, if there's a ghost in here, they must want me to play Matthew and Son. So anyway, I didn't think much more of it. I thought it must be just a glitch with my, um, my, uh, my iPad, you know, mucking up. But Matthew, and Matthew and Son, it had to be by Cat Stevens. So... Anyway, so I was chatting away and I started chatting to these people over here. So we've got um, Sher Sherry Ann. Sherry Ann. We've got Clinton. We've got little Jeremy. And we've got Colin and Suzanne. And these people, these people were at the gig. And anyway, I came up and I said hello. I started chatting to them. And they were freaked out because. Tell me why, Sherry. Because. My son's father passed away four years ago and this was one of his favourite songs and he used to come here a lot too. So it was him from from heaven, his, um, his spirit was here with us um, today, especially being Father's Day. Yeah, because my iPad wouldn't let me play anything That's else right, yeah. but that song, Yeah, which was kind of freaky. And when I heard the backstory from you guys over here, and you guys were just as startled as I was. Oh, we were, definitely were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so what did you think, Clinton? And you even had a vision of him. Oh, at the Sherry's place, like I seen him when I was walking past, I seen like his um, finger and everything. It's like it's him, of course, yeah. You yeah. saw him sitting there? I saw him sitting there, that's right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Sherry Ann, you've seen him a couple of times? I have, yes, yes. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's really great. And this is his little son, Jeremy. <laughs> So he died four years ago, and um, has Jeremy seen him? Did Jeremy actually meet him? Oh, he got, yeah, yeah. Um, he was, um, Jeremy was two years old at the time when his father um, passed away, but he still remembers his dad and misses him very, very much. Yeah. Have you ever seen your dad, Jeremy? No? Yeah. Anyway. I just thought that might be an interesting story to share with everyone because I was, it, was, it just blew me away. Anyway, cheerio, take care.